That's some pretty cool sodium chloride. Some what? Sodium chloride. That's salt. It's an ionic compound. The heck is that? So, well, first we have the sodium atom. Sodium atom. This. And a chlorine atom. These atoms attract each other and form bonds. So, ooh. Like this. Whoa. Like that. That's, that's pretty bond. cool. Wait. That's cool, but how... So, how come it's the same amount on both sides? Well, just like a chemical reaction, matter can be neither created nor destroyed. So in this case, whatever we put into the reaction on one side has to come out on the other side the same. Cool, but how do I fi how do I figure out how much of each atom there is? Well, if we look at the bottom of each atom, we see a little number. This is called the subscript. It tells us how many of each atom there are. In this case, with sodium chloride, there aren't there aren't any, so it's not needed. The subscript isn't. And needed. how are they, but how are they able to attract each other? Well, each atom has a charge, and whether positive or negative they are always going to try to balance out. Since the sodium atom has a positive one charge and chlorine has a negative one charge, they cancel out, making it even on both sides. With ionic compounds like salt, we give it a special name. For salt, it is sodium chloride. The chlorine part of the atom becomes chloride to show that it is an ionic compound. That's pretty cool. Thanks for, thanks for teaching me. Now let's go eat some salty fries. Yay!